All right. <clears throat> I'm going through the center of that gimbal right there. Through the center of that gimbal. Straight to my my bearing. This as this alignment is critical. I want to get all the extra weight and tension off of my vertical other than what I program into my my bearing offset. I want to try to get as much frictionless action here as I possibly can because I'm driving this with a little tiny tiny motor. Where in the heck is it in this picture? There it is, right there. Little 12 volt motor running that big belt, or the belt back there on that on that uh, turntable. And then that in turn has got that three quarter inch <clears throat> hardwood and then my five five-star rotary on top. This is going to be pretty difficult to do. Besides this this wood that I'm using, you can't, where in heck is it? Very hard to see. There it is. This wood is um, pressed particle wood. I mean this stuff is really light. These are balsa wood. That's, uh, I believe it's one inch by quarter balsa wood. And the gimbals are hard press wood. Um, then the superstructure is that um, mid grade. It's quarter inch pressed wood, but it's. Uh, it's still not extremely strong. So um, I'm going to be throwing around at the bottom of each one of these weights um, something like 13 ounces. It translates at this gimbal right here, the lower gimbal, at uh, 2.3 ounces at the offset. Um, and the offset I want to change from I think I got about two degrees to about uh, one degree slope. Well that's what I'm doing and uh, it's a work in progress. Well thanks for watching. Have a great day. Okay I've got through this second, third, fourth, whatever step I'm at and you will see the movement and everything is synchronized. You got it set right on two inches right now. Two inches of deflection on my my rotation. I got my top gimbal locked into place. So I'll have the same measurement across the whole deal and when I had my unit zeroed out I used a plumb blob and synchronized all the way down to my my bearing down there I had one of my lower brackets that was off a uh, considerable amount. Uh, it was off about an eighth of an inch. So I've got one of them that's going to be not totally lame, but it's absolutely not going to be as perfected as I wanted. I would have to cut these joints apart and adjust it over tweaking lots of stuff 
if I've got a brace on the bottom, all of that would have to come loose. <clears throat> At any rate, this is um, kind of the show that I'm going to give you. It's got a very, very low power capacity. If I've got any hang-ups on it at all, it will not rotate my Pepsi cans, which will be um, about four and a half pounds of weight without the counter shaft weight. That's just the output uh, shaft um, spinning weight. And you can see that we've got quite a bit of wiggling around. And I can stabilize this at another point. But for right now, we're still in good shape for ready to go to the next step, which will be setting the depths here. So these are all exactly the same. the center shaft how much that's wiggling and then the uh, lower brackets how much they're moving so that all has to be adjusted and I've even got plenty of wobble on my my motor balance or my motor um, <clears throat> bracket <clears throat> So all that has to be tuned up. Set this on a zero mark right there. And <clears throat> you can see it's not other than the wobble it's got. It's pretty well zeroed out. Again, thanks for watching. And if you have any comments or uh, input, I'd be very happy to hear about it. Um, we'll see how things go when we get to the next step. Thanks again.